so guys i just wrapped up my biggest project yet um just finished recording all of the raw footage for that video um i think in terms of the amount of raw footage i put into that it would have been well over or if not close to an hour um so yeah this has been my biggest project to date i, I really don't know how i'm going to compress this down um but guys as you can see it is 3 a.m at the moment um I guess just throughout this recording process, I fell asleep multiple times because I was just so fucking tired. Um, and it's Monday now, so I actually have school in uh, in a couple hours, and I also need to wake up to, of course, do my workout and whatnot. So, guys, just wrapped up everything. Um, yet again, I hope you guys have enjoyed that long, big review. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, Hop off and uh, get some good sleep, guys. Bro, I'm not even. I'm not really even tired. I'm just kind of just now thinking about it, bro. It took. It literally took all of my storage to record that, and just as well as that, during the recording process, I actually ran out of storage, so I needed to upload videos onto Dropbox and also download them and transfer files as I was recording you know everything about this was just so messy right and just, I can't yeah um but yeah this has been one hell of a recording process I just need to get some rest and I need to just plan out my uh plan of attack for tomorrow or well today or very soon and um uh, basically just uh, make sure I am on top of things so that I can uh get out these next few videos on time. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and meditate, uh, journal, write down my POAs, uh, read my last af affirmations for the day, um, transfer some files, and then, yeah, I guess uh, that'll be basically my night wrapped up. So I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm a rolling stone. stone. The next morning. So guys, lucky that I didn't crash while I was driving. I was just kind of expecting myself to be super tired this day. Um, just because I had to record all of that footage. I really only, only got all of that done um, by like 4 o'clock in the morning. So um, if I were to kind of piece together how much sleep I got. I think I got around five to six hours, if not less. Um, but overall, not good sleep. But I don't know, surprisingly, I just pulled through. My energy was stable today. Um, and I'm all right. So anyways, guys, it is Monday. I am currently working on the video right now. What I'm doing at the moment is just getting... Um, just getting pieces of video um, and music as well as just exporting any files from my phone to my Dropbox um, right now it's posing a lot of problems but um, at the moment what it looks like is I'm gonna have to be researching music and then try and piece together at least 25% of this project before I can finish the day and uh, that seems like a uh, pretty big challenge this is literally my biggest project to date with the amount of raw footage that I have, it is about two hours long in total and about 10 gigabytes, which is, yeah, probably the largest um, project that I'm about to take on. Um, so guys, when you guys see this vlog, I wouldn't have already uploaded the video anyways, but I, I honestly expect it to be around an hour, even though I kind of wanted to keep it around 30 minutes. Um, but hey, if it's an hour, it's an hour. Um, but yeah, that's going to be one hell of a uh, editing challenge for me. Um, I don't think I'm going to do another big project like this again in terms of creating educational talks because the, the kind of mindset I follow with creating educational content is that it should be in detail. It should be pretty concise um, and it should it should cover... Um, a lot of information and a lot of detail 
And that is, of course, important to um, helping the viewers and answering specific questions. Um, that's just my mindset when I go and create that kind of content. And I feel like with, if I do that kind of content, I'm not going to be able to have time for anything else outside of it. And it's going to literally consume the priorities that I actually focus on, which is school, which is business, which is, um, you know, my, my routine. All these things are really important. And it's just, to me, it's about striking a balance. So, guys, um, yeah, probably won't be doing another project like this again. But um, I'm sure that after I finish, um, my thoughts would be, I'm glad I did it, and I'm glad that I conquered this uh, challenge. Stop. I'm too hot for you to own. And a whip that's meant to speed. One day later. Been uh, recently drinking San Pellegrino as well. This is my first bottle, um, and my only bottle. So, the only thing I found with drinking San Pellegrino is just the water goes down really quick. Like, I don't. Like, it's actually fun. It's actually easy to get down a liter of this. Well, you know, something like, something like my bottle right here, which is of the same size with San Pellegrino. Uh, they're both a liter. I honestly cannot get it done. Like, I'm be honest. I, I probably don't even drink 100 milliliters of water if it's just still like this. Like, even, even if it's cold. So, I guess... San Pellegrino helps me uh, stay hydrated. Another thing I added was um, this, which is a uh, life calendar. Uh, this one is specifically up to 90 years. Um, but obviously, I would say the average age is around... Oh, if I can focus. Yeah, the age is around 75. So, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll really go to 90, but... Uh, oh well, uh, I need to update that because that's not accurate. But I got this during uh, school in one of the talks. So they handed this sheet to everyone. So I've decided to stick it on my wall here and uh, tick off uh, every time I um, every time a week passes. Little thing right here as well is uh, the, what I call the scope, which is... Um, really how I estimate my career in entrepreneurship so that's 10 years from seven from age 17 all the way to age 27 and hopefully by then hopefully by then you know maybe I hit my first ten thousand dollars mm, you know I guess really like best case scenario is a um, million dollars a year I guess that would make me a uh, technically a millionaire but yeah, just a, just a little goal setting, nothing too serious. So, looks like the same position again, but um, just had dinner. Now I'm going to go ahead and start my work. Um, today, I have to finish just this module for Pen to Profit, and then I will get to just solely video editing, um, getting out this next project, or the, the digital launchpad review that you guys hopefully should have seen already uploaded um, it's a big project I think it's about two and a half hours worth of footage that I have to cut through and uh, I'm already lagging behind so um, yeah I gotta really catch up on that oh and guys speaking of the digital launchpad review let me know down below whether I should do a uh, month review you know like a two month review or like a end of subscription review to like really just tell you guys my results from it what I got from it um, and what I took out of it, um, out of Digital Launchpad after a certain period of time. Uh, I think I'll do that. Hopefully I'll keep it a lot shorter in that review. But, uh, yeah. Aside from that, I'm going to go ahead and start editing up this big fucking video. If I heard you, would you leave? I learned a game from some heavy weights. Catching buses, making change from another place. I still got demons from my younger days. I wish I could shake them, but they follow me. I wish I could take it easy, but this fan watch. That's my mama. Alright, so two hours later, 
or uh, like an hour later, 30 minutes later, the I was about to start my work and uh, the internet is down. So no electricity, no internet. Um, guys, um, <laughs> I'll just try my best with the amount of battery I have left. Uh, but probably not going to get too much work done today. I'm sorry in advance if I let you down. I'm sorry in advance if I let you down. So guys, as you can see right here, the time is 9.39 p.m. Just got the warning that my battery is low, but I can't charge it anyways, because yet again, <laughs> my power is cut off. But this is what I've been doing, just uh, learning how to level my audio, but this is currently the intro for it. Uh, I'll be cutting this up probably tomorrow. And so guys, since I can't really edit anymore, and my laptop is literally going to die, I guess for the remaining two hours really yeah really about two hours i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, catch up on reading because recently i just haven't been reading um busy with work and busy with you know, getting so much work done i hate to say it, i really do because i know that i don't manage my time the best uh, and i am aware of that i'm trying to fix that but you know it's just right there's so much on my plate right now that at my current position, I, it is a lot for me. I don't really get stressed. I mean, to me, I, I really do embrace it um, as a part of like, just adapting mindsets, you know, adapting the right mindsets to enter this space um, and make sure that I don't break or give up. You know, you, you know, when you join this journey, it's not something light. Like you really have to put your entire body, your mind and everything into it. Like, it takes so many aspects of your life. I think, if anything, business is the one space which tests literally every aspect of your life. Spiritually, mentally, physically. Like, it it, it, it tests everything. Yeah, definitely, you just need to be strong. And that's what I've always told myself to do. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start reading. Go ahead and, you know get to 48 laws of power and sell like crazy i'm just gonna go through both of those books uh i'll just read one law from the 48 laws of power as i usually do and then just spend the rest of it um just on sell like crazy and see how far i can get on that book and there you go pc is off no power whatsoever um but I'm I'm be honest guys, um having a power outage like this on a hot day, I'm be honest, I I'm I'm actually quite happy. Um because uh it's a bit weird, but like it's just like I'm actually able to think peacefully for once. I'm able to be present and just kind of relax because it's like I've done everything I've I, I could do and like you know, I have no power now. I can't charge my laptop. So this is the most work that I could have gotten done. Um, and I don't know, just something, a lesson that I quickly learned about um, power outages and losing power is the fact that I'm actually more present when I, uh, I'm actually more present when I lose power uh, because it's happened maybe twice now. Um uh, uh, recently, I guess within the, the last six months, and I guess I realized that it really taught me to be truly present in the moment. You know, I, I, there's always that advice that like, oh, uh, live each day as if you're going to die tomorrow. But, you know, I never treated it like that. I realized that it kind of, it's kind of been slipping slowly from uh, my mind and um, just you know, my, my mindsets when, you know, and, and when I lost power today, I realized that, Hey, I, I don't have, I'm never going to get any of this time back. I'm never going to get any of this 
specifically, you know, the battery life left, you know, for this day. I'm not going to get any more of it, so why not use it the best I can? And so I realized I took so much gratitude in, in doing that and being present and just being happy with what I have. So, um, yeah, I guess power outages taught me to just have more gratitude and uh, be present in the moment. So, guys, sorry for the little talk, but I'm going to go ahead and get to reading. And I think that'll be a wrap up for this day. So guys, that idea was very short-lived because I was just thinking that, hey, if the power turns back on, then I'll be able to focus on video editing. So instead, I just wrote in my POA uh, or my plan of attack. Uh, so basically journaling, um, just not really interested in reading today uh, because I, I really want to focus on video editing and getting this video out as soon as possible because I don't think I'll get it out on time uh, so apologies for that uh, if I don't get it out on time but um, yeah wrote a little bit in my notes chart and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just get some early sleep at 10 p.m. not usually the time that I usually sleep but just thinking if I wake up and uh, the power's back on then you know, it would probably be like 3 a.m. when I wake up and you know, I'll be able to have at least one to two hours of work before I have to start my routine. So I'm uh, just really favoring uh, video editing at the moment. So yeah, guys, I'm actually feeling a bit tired. So uh, yeah, I'm not, not too interested in reading tonight. So so yeah, I'll see if I can uh, feed you guys on uh, anything new tomorrow. Good night. Blame that on my mother I can't go nowhere that's less than me That's why lovers I'm trouble First I'm exciting, then I'm gaslighting Make up your mind